One of the most important things we as parents do is we teach our children about time. We teach them important things like reading the clock. You actually think that's important? I'm going to teach you to read the clock. Huh? I'm going to teach you to read the time. Why? Why? Because it's important that you know the time. Why? Because how would you know when to get up to go to school? M mummy would make me. <laughs> what if mummy wasn't there? You, you'd wake me. What if we both weren't there? Wouldn't go to school. <laughs> how would you know when breakfast was? I'd be hungry. Shut up! <laughs> Somebody came along to you and said, what time is it? And you didn't know, you'd feel stupid. Well, why doesn't he feel stupid? He doesn't know. <laughs> Let me go through this whole thing. I'm going to teach you. I did it myself, with my son. I'm going to teach you how to read the clock. Now, this is a clock. It's not actually a clock. It is a clock, but it's not a clock. It's a watch. It's called a watch. It's a wristwatch because it's on my wrist. Yes, it's a wristwatch because it's on my wrist and I watch it. Yes, it's very good. <laughs> now, there's time is made up of zones, periods of time, all right? There's, there's hours and minute, no, not hours. No, they're not hours. <laughs> they're hours. <laughs> they don't belong to us. It's a different spelling, H-O-U-R-S. Not Howards. <laughs> It's silent. I don't know. <laughs> now, on every day, there are 24 hours. 24 of these hours. 12 in the day and 12 in the night. I know I said there are 24 hours in a day. 12 in the day, 12 in the night. But a day is made up of a day and a night. <laughs> what are you, stupid? I couldn't very well say Monday, Monday night. Everybody knows when I say Monday, I'm talking about the 24 hours. Now shut up and listen. <laughs> now, on every clock or watch, there are three pointers. They're called hands, all right? They point to the hour, all right? You understand that? There's the hour hand. That's the first hand. The hour hand. The second hand is the minute hand, and the third hand is the second hand. <laughs> Shut up! We'll do away. Forget about the third hand. Forget it! It's gone, all right? It's gone. And we have two hands. On the face of the clock, there are two hands, all right? There's the hour hand, which is the fat hand. And there is the thin hand, which is the minute hand. So you have a fat hand and a thin hand. All right? Fat hand hours, thin hand minutes. Right. Now up the top of the clock, you see the number up there, one and two. One and two is twelve. It's not three. <laughs> it would be three if you joined them together. We already have a three here on the side by itself. We don't need two bloody threes on a clock. So it's twelve. All right? One and two is twelve. So when the fat hand and the thin hand are pointing at the one and the two, it is twelve o'clock in the daytime! Because it would be dark and you wouldn't be able to see it! Now the thin hand starts to move away from the fat hand. It likes the fat hand. Yes, it likes the fat hand. But if it wants to tell the time, it has to go away from the fat hand. So it moves away from the fat hand, leaving the fat hand at the one and the two, and then it comes over to the one here by itself. You see the one to the right of the one and the two? Now, that one is five. <laughs> because it is, it's five. Two is ten, three is fifteen, four is twenty, five is twenty-five, six is a half. Twelve is the whole, so six is the half. Seven is twenty-five, two, or thirty-five past.
So now what's actually happening is a thin hand is moving around the clock from the 1 to the 2, which is the 5 and the 10. And while he's doing that, the fat hand is moving slowly away from the 1 and the 2. Yes, because fat hands move slowly, that's right. Fat things waddle away, yes, that's it. <laughs> and now by the time the fat hand has got around to the 1, which was the 5, when the minute hand was pointing at it, and the 1 has come back right up to the 1 and the 2, it is now what time? It is not 5 o'clock. <laughs> It's one o'clock, because when the thin hand points at it, it's minutes. The fat hand points at it, it's an hour. Now you be a good boy and learn how to read the clock. And I'll buy you a digital watch.